C88. Hello everyone and welcome to Halo Infinite's uh, new operation, Spirit of Fire. I don't know if this is actually uh, Season 5 of uh, the multiplayer, but uh, I wanted to check it out because it's uh, again 20 levels. Last time I actually didn't make like a, a proper introduction to the to the latest operation. I thought it was like a shorter one, so I didn't thought it would require any uh, like extra commentary. But this time uh, there has been actually quite a lot of changes. Uh, first of all, I think we got a new uh, a new improvement on the cross core. Uh, customization which is actually the one that I just saw here shoulders on all cores I think this is the first uh, main armor uh, other than the helmet that that we are actually going to be able to uh, use cross core so that's a huge improvement in, in, in well in this uh, very requested <laughs> section of the game by the by the players and by the fans uh, so yeah, free for uh, doing well on that part at, at least. Um, and another thing that I heard about is that we actually got a new um, core, a new armor core, uh, which is I think the Mark VI. And I al already went ahead and kind of customized it just to see what actually uh, we would get. So let's jump ahead on to the armor hole just to see all of those new improvements that we're talking about. So if you don't mind, I would like to just do like a little uh, showcase of my armors here. Of course, this is a Mark 7. Once we got the, the option of customizing the helmet with the other armor cores, I uh, like straight ahead went for the like kind of samurai, devil, ogre, I don't know what that is. Uh, helmet, I think I think it looks great and very very cool. Uh, so yeah, that's one. Uh, then we have the Mark V, of course, which uh, uh, if you remember we had the flood event, so all of the armor is like with the flood details and all that stuff. I think it looks pretty pretty cool. Then we have the Joroy uh, armor core, which is the samurai one, the one that I was talking about. I decided to go with different uh, color coding for each of the cores uh, just because I think they look uh, a little bit uh, cooler and with a fitting aesthetic for each one of them. So for example here I decided to go with one of the main simple color coding uh, for the armor as I'm thinking maybe this is like a newer Spartan, maybe with no... <laughs> experience in combat uh, even less with combating the flood so they like succumbed very quickly and easily to to the flood that's my uh, like like my mental lore <laughs> here so for example the the samurai here it's just like I think if you're a warrior and if you're like an ancient samurai or something like that you're not going to be like in a pristine arm and I do like uh, the white armor a lot so yeah I decided to go with this like white but also dirty and messy armor and I think it looks really really cool then we have the Eagle Strike armor core and as you can see I went with a little bit more of a steampunk looking color coding for this I mean if we're talking like um, alternative world war armor stuff <laughs> I think it looks great in this one then we have the Rakshasa which I think this armor uh, core is uh, is thought to be like some uh, put together armor piece like with wires and uh, pieces of other armors like integrating into this because this is the ones that uh, the UNSC is kind of using while fighting the banished in the ring so i think this this one goes like a little bit more into that lore and yeah then we have the chimera armor which went for the cyberpunk event uh, so yeah i decided to go 
just straight cyberpunk with that even with the neon coloring uh, projections on the shoulders and all that stuff then we have the mirage which uh, I think based on the lore that we got on the latest cinematics um, this is supposed to be like one of the first uh, iterations of the Spartan armor before it became like the uh, the most used the, the, the marks uh, two, three, and four of the Mjolnir. So yeah, I think I think it looks cool. This is uh, customized with all the uh, unlockables from that season. So yeah, and of course we have the hazmat, which was one of the newest as well for the infection season. Uh, so yeah, I decided to go with the green and blue yellow like kind of sickness color coding <laughs> uh, that also was part of the unlockables of the of that event uh, also the visor is as well like with those green splatters and stuff and the next one is the newest one which is which has just released and it's the mark six uh, the marks yeah no the mark four sorry uh, so yeah uh, I think it looks like a little bit chunkier, like more uh, not so graceful, I should say, and that reflects on actually uh, being the, the 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 previous generation of Spartans, right? They were more like bulky, more uh, bigger, I think. Yeah. <laughs> And one thing I liked uh, straight away is that you can actually change uh, the color, uh, the, the, the coding. Uh, you have all the codings available for the Mark 6 and the Mark 7. So that's quite nice. So I went with the same color uh, coding that I have on my Mark 7 armor. And I decided to go with the Master Chief kind of looking helmet and with the effects that I also have on my Mark 7. Of course, uh, the point of this new um, event is that you unlock all of the uh, armor uh, cosmetics, right? So here is when, when, we, when I was actually kind of investigating this thing, was when I realized that we can actually use the shoulders from all the other armors that we have, which I think it's quite nice. And hopefully we will soon have all of the pieces like the chest, the kneecaps and all that stuff for us to like mix up and just like create uh, our own <laughs> Frankenstein of a Spartan. Like imagine doing this, this stuff, right? Like the mixture of textures and, and of concepts. Ah, they are going to look like amazing. So yeah, uh, the objective uh, in today's video is actually just to show you that and to start playing a little bit of Halo and maybe uh, unlock some of the of the new um, season. Now, I'm not sure. I think this is just an operation. I was I, I thought this was going to be uh, season five, which I think this lasts a month. So maybe season 5 is coming on February or maybe the beginning of March? I'm not sure. I'm going to have to do some research about that. So sorry for the misunderstanding at the beginning of the video because I really thought this was going to be season 5 uh, or season 6 even. I don't know. I don't know which season we're playing right now. <laughs> it's kind of... <laughs> uh, let me see. So. Yeah, season four was infection. Season five was reckoning, which which was the flood event. Then we had Operation Combined Arms. Then we had Operation Winter Contingency, and now this is another operation. So we're waiting for season six. Let me recon, uh, let retcon everything I've said so far. We're waiting for season six. I wasn't able to check out like individually this once with you. I just kind of showcased it in a video. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, all of these rewards are already unlocked. And uh, the other one was uh, the combined arms as well. Which I think I, again, just showed you in the video. And that's it. 
Uh, but yeah, so I think this is the last operation before the new season drops. But it's good to see uh, 343 going for constant new um, operations and cosmetics unlockables and all that stuff being free just for playing. I don't even have to buy the premium pass for this, which is amazing because yeah, I don't want to just uh, throw my money <laughs> away every time they want. Um, so yeah, I, I think I'm going to play this one like for free and that's it. Um, I think this ones I just get by buying the premium pass. I, I'm not sure I want them. I'm not even such a uh, like the biggest fan of this one. Um, but this you can just play and you will unlock them. So yeah, for example, this one looks pretty nice. I love this Halo Wars one. Um, some XP, which I'm not even using. Like. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, they look amazing. The 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 Mark IV armor coat is one of the one of my favorites, I should say. I love the chunkiest, the chunkier look they they are going with here, like reminiscing of the old Spartans. Imagine if we one day get the the Mark the Mark One, right? The one that. Uh, they were supposed to be using before the Spartan program was even a Spartan program. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's that, that's it for my voice introduction. It's nice to talk again with you guys. Uh, it's going to be weird because maybe when you are watching this video, I've already been uploading a ton more videos. But for me, I recorded my last gameplay like this one. Uh, like in September or October of last year. I have been working, I haven't been uh, able to play a lot. I've been playing Halo a little bit on my, on my free times, so that's how I actually uh, got the operations uh, done and by this point in time you should have seen all my compilation videos that, uh, that I'm going to actually uh, edit and upload in the following days for me <laughs> so yeah YouTube timelines are like wibbly wobbly timey wimey stuff so <laughs> so yeah <laughs> I'm hoping to uh, start recording more and to start recording more Minecraft uh, I still have uh, more Starfield and uh, Portal 2 to record so I'm gonna get to that maybe in these few weeks and hopefully you guys will be watching those videos along with me so yeah let's just jump right into more uh, Halo <laughs> and more Halo compilations uh, and I'll see you in the next video thank you so much for watching I hope you really enjoyed and if you did please consider leaving a like and maybe subscribing and see ya